Brez, a gap of four lengths to my girl Sue and Phil's dream, Hero of the Hour and Maggie Thunder. Straightening on up for home at the halfway stage, matching strides, Cuban Grey and Livingston Range, the hoop colours, being followed by American and Paris in the centre. The river runs deep with Bonnie Power over the far side below deck, Sam's Express. They're panned out, racing towards the final furlong. It's pinball here. American and Paris strongly pressed by Winemaker. The river runs deep. My girl Sue joins the fun. And then Cuban Grey as they run up to the finish. It's Winemaker and my girl Sue. Thirty one two. It'll go to the judge, however, then American in Paris, and the river runs deep. Yeah, Walla Hurst across the furlong pole of Blanky could have covered him, but winemaker Fran dropping Markley back in trip for the first time. Records his fourth win of his career and his uh, second up here during the winter months. Yeah, uh, near side finishing well was my girls who but it looks like winemaker has uh, just lunged perhaps at the right time uh, number to the home straight from Dandy Licious, who picks up the chase. Driven on the inside is Iberian Queen, being followed by Cool Dan, who's beginning a run. Racing just outside the final two furlongs, and it's turning up the beat from Dandy Licious. Cool Dan on this side is Mason Brook Meadow, followed by Posh Maisie. Bruce Lightning falls away. Then Betcho and Laser Sharp and Iberian Queen, and go on, go on. You have it over the far side. Key and Tov and exhausted with pleasure. Dandy Licious gets to the front from turning up the beat. Mason Brook Meadow and first timer. Connor Whiteley are coming home, best of all on the outside, but it's River Derwent, Bucky Larson and Pascalia next, with the final four Dutch Glory, Hurricane Helen, Gatsby Cap pushed along. Chopsticks remains the back marker as they come up to the halfway stage, and the McCandless come out to handicap over a mile. Ten to ten leads in. But only just Ferry Bank, who's now within a neck, a break of a length and a half, two and third place, suit yourself, boss, at bay, close up and fourth, then Manhattan Dandy, who's ridden along as they straighten with two and a half furlongs to go. Ten to ten, challenged by Ferry Bank. They're joined by suit yourself, boss, these three are abreast, then at bay and Manhattan Dandy, Bucky Larson next, and Super Cobb on the right is Hurricane Helen, who's picking up River Derwent, racing to the final furlong, and Ferry Bank on the stand side is battling it out from... Suit yourself, boss, Hurricane Helen. And they're followed by Ath Bay and River Derwent next week. Thing is 10 to 10. And it's Hurricane Helen who's driven on in the closing stages to win for Colin Kane. Second is Suit Yourself, boss, close for the third. Yes, Hurricane Helen has won here for Chris Timmons and Colin Keane's come from off the pace and it didn't look like they went overly quick for the first couple of furlongs, Frank. No, and a uh, good performance by her Kevin, previous winner at this track in December and uh, your eye was just, just drawn to from time. Colin Keane made it. next and Shin won Albion Par. After them being pumped along in the blue jacket is Latin, the Nashikita star, sailor, JLO action plan, George Smiley in lay of the land. Racing to the final quarter of a mile, and Zal Mudafa coming up to Hoover Dam, getting reminders of Spoon Og, and the natural ruler who's followed then with a furlong and a half to go by Albion Parr, and then Shin Wah, as Zal Mudafa is driven to the front, racing to the final furlong in the mile, Ross Clear Maiden, it's Zal Mudafa moving on by a couple of lengths to natural ruler in his second, followed then in third by Hoover Dam, and up towards the finish, it is Zal Mudafa going a position better in his second visit here. Natural ruler second, close for the third between on this side Hoover Dam more to the middle and the hoop colours was Jayla. Yeah, fairly straightforward for long odds on favour. Al Mudafer gets off the mark second time of asking the colours of Al Cap. Another winner for Dylan Brown McMonigle and his boss Joseph O'Brien. Yeah, and they uh, jumped out of the gates and travelled very well into the run, Kevin. He initially came off to bridle um, uh, alongside the lead. Leading in, real appeal, a gap of three lengths to Crystal Clear, edging into third out of How You Like That, brought Stan side as Hodds Girl and then Wigmore Street. Racing to the final two furlongs, horse with the big white face is Free Scape, coming there stylishly is real appeal. After them in third is Hodds Girl, who's picked off two, Crystal Clear and How You Like That, and still last is Wigmore Street inside the final furlong, and it's real appeal, who collars Free Scape, a couple of lengths to Hodds Girl, and up towards the finish, it is real appeal to find an absence by three parts freescape second hot girl turn 
Yes, yeah, so I hope people listen in when uh, Ada McGuinness, we kind of, <laughs> we didn't kind of, we did put him on the spot earlier on when he was standing here alongside as he was spot on about real appeal. The race has really played into his strengths. Didn't uh, go overly quick, first two all the way, first two home. It was race over after Farland Kevin once he slid into, into second position and the front two were clear from quite a way out off. Forgotten Inigo Jones is next and little Keeley racing to the final two and a half furlongs and it's brains on the right on the left making ground a shoot to kill and between them is not forgotten fading out of contention is point jelly brand over the far side super over and these are being followed to the final furlong by little Keeley then rampage and rockbury lad it's a close run thing for the finish here between not forgotten the gray who just pokes to the front from super over brains rampage it's trying to slaughter a passage through and it's super over from brains not forgotten over the far side was rampage as Colin Keane doubles up on the handicaps yeah it's double in the night for Colin Keane and super over uh, gets back in the winning score sheet after a couple of good runs and defeat his most recent star Fran returns two to one favorite trained by Dennis Coakley yeah got more even, even gallop team out this week in comparison to last week sat turn Kevin has ground out really well bunch Tracked for home by Highland King, they've three to run. Don't look now, next and Wonder Spirit and Pinball Wizard, the back mark of the leading group with a gap to Angie and then Pickpool and Halley Bop and Power Drive designer Colleen and Weakening out of contention in the black and white is Wood Jude. Racing to the final two, Moon Daddig on the stand side comes to the front. The challenger in the middle of the track is Highland King, being followed to the final furlong by Snagit. Staying on in behind them in the stripes is Pickpool, battling it out, Highland King and Moon Daddig, they're wide apart inside the last 200 yards and it's Highland King getting to Moon Daddy that away from Pickpool and it is finally going to happen for Highland King. Moon Daddy second, Pickpool and you're close to the third. Yeah, well, the trainer whose horses continue to be in good form for the last uh, couple of months is John McConnell. Rarely a Friday goes by now, Fran, without John McConnell having a winner up here. Yeah, really good form, Kevin, and this horse had dropped down the ratings and showed really good signs of life in his most recent start. He got a lovely ride off Keaton Kennedy, who's built up a good run with the stable in recent weeks to get up and... Bridgewater, three and a half furlongs out, heading for the final bend, and it's John Alexander with almost in term Star Harbour, a length in front of Yokel, edging closer and forth is Palace Rock, two lengths to Satono Chevalier, Nudge next is Impedo, and then War Correspondent, Escaline, and a gap back to the trailing Cape Bridgewater, racing to the final two furlongs, and it's Star Harbour coming to the front, just leads Palace Rock, Yokel on the right, followed by Satono Chevalier, Escaline stays on, John Alexander has weakened out of it, then War Correspondent Impero and Cape Bridgewater, they race to the final furlong. It's Star Harbour challenged on either side by Yokel. Satona Chevalier digs in the stands raid with Palace Rock. These four covered by a couple of lengths, and it's Satona Chevalier on the stand side of Star Harbour. That's the finish. Palace Rock third and Yokel fourth. Yes, Satana Chevalier brings the curtain down. It's been a good evening's racing here to win the finale for Richard O'Brien. Shane Foley on board as well. Bounces back from a disappointing effort the last night, Fran. Right back to his top form, Kevin, and that, and that might, might well lead him back to all-weather final state process or something yes. like that. Where he